Okay. So, to wake up. Good stuff, good stuff. So, let's just use another, um, another tangerine example. Let's just check it out. Yeah, I, I like the second one down. Sono oto de watashi wa mezameta. Okay. I could just copy and paste. Oh well. Sono oto de watashi wa mezameta. Make sure I wrote that right. Sono oto de mezameta. Good, good, good. So, let's see here. So, mezameta, pretty, pretty self explanatory just to wake up. So, just to give me an example sentence. Sono is that. Okay, now there's other forms of this, right? Um, and I'll just, I'll just, you know, I'll take this opportunity to go through them. Why not? So, there are three that we always see. There is um, Kono, Sono, and Ano. Okay? And basically it just means this, that, and also that. Now there's a difference between the Sono, <coughs> the sono and Ano. Uh, this, the sono is um, that which is like visible, like I can, like it's within, it's in a close relative distance to you. Um, if we're talking about something that's like, um, let me just write this, uh, relatively close to the speaker, okay. Alright. Sono saifu o kaise, you know, g give me back that wallet, you know. Um, ano. Ano can be um, something that's really far away, like whether it be like visible or like mentally in the distance. Um, like for instance, uh, yeah, I th I, you know, I don't, need, I don't need to give an example. That makes sense, right? Something that's um, something that's uh, significantly distant, either visible or mentally so. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, but you will see this kind of stuff a lot. Um, for instance, with this um, kono, sono, ano. There's also uh, kore, sore, uh, are. Uh, there's also koitsu, soitsu, aitsu. You know, you will see those three little guys in a lot of different ways. But I'm not going to explain all of that. But uh, anyways, there you go. Sono is that. And of course, what we're talking about is something that's relatively near to the listener. Let me just uh, re-emphasize that. Um, relatively near the... Uh, I'm sorry, near the speaker. I'm sorry, not listener. Oh, of course it is the... Um, he's listening to the sound, actually. So, so yeah, it would be... Um, let's not worry about it. Okay. And then oto. Oto is, of course, sound. Okay. And now this particle de. Now, in this case, it is... De is working as a particle to say um, due to due to um, let's just look at this check this out da, 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 yeah if we if we are to look at the second one down I used this one in the last video also but this time we're looking at a definition further down the list um, so we're looking at like by um, cause of effect that kind of thing but what we really want to just look at to really narrow it down is because of, because of, okay. Uh, but you know, particle definitions always try to always want to be very flexible, you know, because there's only so much shit they can possibly write in a definition, you know. But for our for our um, intents and purposes, we are going to narrow it down to something very specific, okay. So um, day in this case is because of. And then watashi is the next word. Watashi is a very standard way to say I or I or me. And then of course our word is oh, wait, hold on, sorry. There's the wa for the subject, right? And of course this version of wa is putting emphasis on what comes after it. In this case, it is our word that we're looking at, mezameta. Wake up. Or woke up. Wake up, woke up. Good stuff. All right, so. Let's review it. Sono oto de watashi wa mezameta. Because of that sound, I woke up. Okay, and actually, let's look at the, uh, what's their translation? The noise awoke me? All right, well, they're just being very simple. I'm being very specific. All right, so maybe if you were a translator in a manga or something, that maybe that's how you translate it. But I want you guys to understand everything as much as possible, so I will be very specific. 
All right. So, moving on, we are looking at now. <clears throat> so these guys here, seven, eight, and nine, which is Hikari, Kaze, and Nioi. All right. Now the way it's used in the scene is she basically just mentions them. Uh, she doesn't actually really use them like, like very much. She just, it's literally just mentioned like on a list almost. So how should I work this? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. We're gonna look at all four actually, all in a row. We got Hikari, Kaze, and uh, I feel like I'm missing one. There's Nyoi. Did I not write one? I think because I, I think there's a um, one that I'm missing. Oh, I am missing one. Kuki. I knew it. I knew it. So we're just gonna add that here. Let's just keep the same font going. Kuki. Which we're gonna hit also. Kuki. Now because um because I am working these words just like within the scene, okay? I'm not really going above and beyond that, okay? So how it's used in the scene is how we're gonna is how we're gonna learn it. And because um in this particular one she doesn't really use these words you know in a in a way that you would you know expect it to see it's um so really like you could get you can get away with making it making an SRS card literally just the word in the definition so um hikari all right just means uh light okay uh the next one down is kaze kaze which is wind nioi is smell and kuki kuki is um, air. I right, only just um, yeah. So we got kooky, yep, air, atmosphere, right? Nioi, odor, smell, that kind of thing. Uh, kaze, which is we're looking at the second definition down, guys. Kaze, wind, breeze, and of course hikari, which is light. All right. So really, that's all you would really need to do. You can even make this one SRS card, all four of those in one. Wouldn't be a big deal. All right. Wouldn't be a big deal at all. It's just that I just, um, if I don't have to, I'm not going to. You know what I mean? Like, it, th there's no need for me to really make up, make up a sentence for you. You know, there really isn't. I could, but if you want to look up sentences for for yourself, by all means, you know, you go into um, Tangerine, click on examples, and bam, just type in your word. You know, he caught he. I use this for a long time actually. It's pretty good. Now I just typically you want to go with something a little probably easier. You know, right? Unless you want to challenge yourself, go 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 take on this one. But yeah, um, anyway, th those are your options, guys. So, but uh, I think this is just fine. You know, that is just fine. So, and we, not only that, we covered a lot of stuff in a short amount of time. So, moving on. Uh, the next one we look at is the particle mole. All right? Yeah, it's a particle. Is it considered a particle? It is. Okay, cool. Yes, it's not actually a vocab. It's not a tango. It's a particle. What? I don't know how to say particle in Japanese. Oh, I don't know. I'm kind of curious. How do you say particle? Hmm. Joshi. Joshi is particle. Okay, cool. Joshi, Joshi, Joshi. Or Joji. Part yeah, I think that's actually the one we're looking at is Joji is particle. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. All right. No, enough sidetracking. Okay, go. Go away. All right, there we go. So mo, real simple. Mo just means um, also, also as well. Um, yeah. So let's see. Let's just get a quick example using mo. <laughs> and it looks like we're not going to get an easy one. Um, let's just make up one. How about that? Let's say, let's say your friends and family are going somewhere, and you want to go too, right? So you would say, Watashi? Watashi mo ikitai. I want to go too. Alright, so of course we looked at Watashi, but just for the sake of drilling it into your head, Watashi is I or me. Really standard way to say it. Um, maybe I should mix it up, you know? Maybe I should use some bokus and some ore. 
but uh, Watashi really want the one you want to know the most, you know, Watashi. And uh, Mo, right? The one we're looking at is, of course, also as well. What do they write it as? Uh, also to yeah, good, good, good. And um, Ikitai is the um, how to say want to go, want to go, want to go. Now uh, Thai, Thai verbs. Anything that has a tie at the end is always indicates um, a desire to do, right? A desire to do something. All right, I was a little, a little interrupted there actually. That's why it's like suddenly stop the video. But um, yeah, let's say Ikita, yes, it indicates that you want to go. Okay, real easy, real simple. Uh, if I'm listening, if I'm like making a list of things, um, you would also use mo, right? Like um, in our scene that we're looking at, she says, um, in a, she says, hikari mo, kazi mo, nioi mo. You know, she just, you know, the wind, I mean, I'm sorry, the light, the wind, the smells. So you just, you know, it just adds like as well and you know real simple good good stuff you know i don't think you guys gonna need to worry about it too much <clears throat> um let me just write it out hikari mo kaze mo nioi mo oops the light the wind the smells oops so you know, you guys get 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 how it's working here. You know, there's two wit. That's two examples of. Um, oops, how do you do that? I want to highlight two separate things. Okay, I can't do it. But yeah, watashi mo ikitai, and this one hikari mo kazi mo nioi mo. Two ways and how to use mo. Okay, and I suppose the one you'd want to be more concerned with is this one. If you had to be, if you had to choose one, this is probably the one you want to look at. So actually. Actually, if you want to make an SRS card, perhaps the one that would make the most, you'd get the most use out of would be this one right here. Alright, so yeah, I think that all makes sense. I think I explained that okay. So what do we got left? What do we got left? <clears throat> we got Matarashiku, Kanji Raritemas, Karada, Saibo, Hitotsu, Hitotsu, and okay, that's what we got. We got five left. So, next one is Matarashiku. Matarashku. Let me get some space going on. Yeah. Mm -mm. Put it up here. Matarashku. Now, matarashku. Another one of those fun adverbs. And actually, it seems that what I was saying is ringing true. Because um, remember how I used. Um, oh, what was that? Yoku, right? Yoku came before a verb. And in this case, um, matarashku is also going to come before a verb. And there's probably an obvious reason for that, but I'm I suck with grammar, so maybe you guys can explain that to me. But matarashku means brand new, brand new. So matarashku, All right? The 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 root word is uh, matarashi, brand new. But matarashku, something is feeling brand new, uh, or something is. We're verbing it up with brand new. Okay, let's just look at an example if we can get one. Matarashku. And they have no results. Oh. Okay. Matarashku. Now I could either think of one of my own, or I could just use one that's in the in the dialogue, which I really don't want to do. But at the same time, it's looking like I might have to. Hmm. Let me think on this. Hold on. 